Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will demonstrate to you how to get the random quotes from free APIs. And once you get the random quote, we will use that to post to Facebook page with a click of a button using React. And now let's get started. Alright, as discussed in this video, I'll show you how to use the free quote APIs to generate a random quotes. And then we, once we get the value or the quote that we want, we will use that quote to uh, post it to this Facebook page with a click of a button. And here I create a new one, the test post page uh, status. And um, I will delete this apps after finish this video. And um, also now, uh, what are the steps that we're going to do here, uh, React app. And uh, this is just a simple one, uh, say it's like um, to post uh, page status, uh, random quotes. And I'll show you here, this is the uh, API that generates uh, random quotes. So now let's have a quick look here. And um, you can see that here we get like the quote of the day. So once I click on this, if uh, you are not sure what this is, uh, this is the uh, Swagger uh, UI that we can actually test it right on the fly. So we don't need to install anything. Just click a few buttons, then we get the result that we want to know or want to see. So here I click on the try it out and I click on the execute. It will uh, execute the uh, response. And um, we can see now here the response says like this is the quote of today. Uh, this is the actually the value that we want. And um, here is the request URL, which is the URL that we are going to use. And um, here this um, you can see it's quite useful. So when I scroll down, there's a lot more here. We can also use the random quote as well. And um, they have like a lot of uh, options here to basically we can try it out but there's one thing is that so let me show you this one here the code random when i try it again and click on execute you will see there's an issue which is unauthorized what it does require is to uh, basically require us to have the um, code api the app api and we still uh, the thing is that we have to pay for it so you can see the free one here. Uh, we can use the uh, quote of the day. So the API access is free. But when we want to actually get the uh, run quotes, we have to pay for it. So the basic one here is uh, $4.99. And we can actually uh, use 100 times for the uh, basic plan. But uh, I don't actually want to use this just to show you like uh, to get the random quote. So I found there's um, a few more options here. So just uh, this one here, we can get the random quote coming from say this one here. And this is the link. So I will show you uh, this link and uh, we will use this one as well. And the next one here is the six random quotes API that we can use. And I did try this as well. So some of them actually works and just a few of them um, they are already down and this one does work so when i click on this uh, link you can see that they generate the uh, code for us as well when i try to refresh you can see that uh, it generate like a new one so this is the random code that we want but uh, in this tutorial i'll show you how to uh, use this one the reason being is that uh, this api is actually one of the uh, best or the popular API uh, quotes out there. So uh, I'll show you this one. And um, if you really uh, notice that, you can see this quote doesn't only like basically generate the quote uh, for free, but it also contain like author. And what interesting is the uh, also contain the um, background as well. So this is the background image that uh, it comes with. But the one here, I'll show you, it doesn't really contain that feature, but um, this is just for the demonstration uh, purpose. So you get there. And uh, here, a uh, little bit further ado, so we can now start uh, implementing that one. So the first things, I'll try to 
um, get the uh, Facebook access page, the long life. I'm going to use this one. So I have already generated that one. If you are not sure how to get the um, Facebook page long life um, access token, then you can watch my previous video. Uh, uh, I'll show you all the steps to get uh, this access token. And this is the permanent access token. It uh, doesn't expire at all. We can use this for our uh, React application. And I'm going to copy this one. So once we copy that, we will just follow this format. So I'll do like uh, this is the graph and this is and uh, this is the message. So the message here is going to come from the uh, random quote API, whatever the quote is, uh, it will show here. And then um, I will replace uh, basically use this uh, long Facebook long life access token here. So um, this is the step that we're going to uh, implement. And now let me uh, try to write a few codes here and see you guys in a few seconds. All right, so now I have um, type of few codes here. So basically I use the library, uh, the Axios to basically uh, try to get the post request, uh, the try to use the get request coming from this link here. And uh, once I successfully hit this, I want to actually get the result from that. So uh, rest.data. And um, here I just put it inside the console. Uh, so we want to see what is inside that console right here. So now let's go back and uh, I'll get to this soon. So now just inspect that and see what is inside that um, here. So inside the objects, we have the success or here the contents, quotes and inside the quotes. So basically like the first one here and you can see that this is the quotes and whatever that you can see here is exactly showing on this uh, react application here so um how do i get that so basically what i did is to the result here dot the content so i just uh show you a moment ago content dot quote and this is inside the uh, first uh, array uh, index and then dot quote so once i have that i start inside this variable and finally, I show it on the uh, under the React uh, Facebook post status, which you can see right here. So that's how I did that. And um, so what's the next step? Uh, basically, for this one, uh, that's how we actually get it show or uh, before we post that um, to Facebook page. So um, I'll comment this out and try to use this instead because um, this one is uh, basically like the random quote and uh, the things that I show you just now is that uh, this is quite convenient if you actually want to pay for the service then you can get more option compared to just uh, this free one. Uh, so now let me try to replace this link and uh, do the same as that, uh, show it on this here uh, before we uh, try to implement that to post it to Facebook page. All right, so now I have commented the first one and here is the second one, which is the link that I showed you just now. And uh, inside this link here, I just want to see what is inside the result. I just put it inside the console log. So now let me refresh that again. And here you can see that this is the objects that it returns in JSON format. It has the ID, the tag, the content. So here the content that we want. So how can I uh, access that content? So similar to the previous one, I just do here, just the result dot content. And then um, DB going to get this one here. So just copy that one and put it inside this uh, set state. So just put that. And the structure look a little bit different from the one I just show, but that's fine. Uh, here we can see, um, so you can see that it's keep showing here. So you can see that um, there's like a loop inside the use effects that we just used. And um, to actually uh, just to make it render once, what we need to do, we need to go here and then uh, just type out, just put it as an empty string. Otherwise, it's going to loop that. Uh, endless loop uh, forever then uh, here we gonna get the result that we want so this is um, the quote that uh, we get so now what's the next step uh, we'll use the quote inside this variable and put it inside basically like a button so uh, I'll try to create like a small button and we are gonna hit that one all right so now I have um, implement one features here so this is the function 
to post the random quote. So what it does right here, it uh, basically I use the post request, and this is the link that I uh, also show you in the previous video as well. This is the Graph API from Facebook, and I replace this with my uh, page ID. So inside that, this is the quote, uh, this is the message. So whatever the quote that once I render the page or the page loads, it's going to store that um, quote inside this variable and whatever the variable is, it's going to send that to the Facebook uh, through the Graph API. And this is my long life page access token. So I just place it here. And once we successfully post it to Facebook page, there will be an alert or also inside the console as well. And this is the result that it's going to show inside that console. So once I have these features, this function, then I put it as a button. So when I click on this post status button, it's going to send that uh, post request to Facebook and it's going to post that automatically. And uh, that's how we actually get the random quotes from the free API and we post to uh, Facebook. So now let me uh, demonstrate that to you. So here, this uh, I'm going to refresh that for now. So we're going to see the random quotes. So this is the quote that we are going to send to the Facebook page. And when I click on this uh, post status button, if it's success, it's going to show the alert. So here we can see that it says success and also the result that it's going to show. So this is the success uh, uh, message. So when I refresh this and see if we get that uh, random quotes that we just uh, see here. So the ultimate uh, promise of the technology is to make us master a world that we can command by the push of a button, right? <laughs> Uh, what exactly the same what we are doing right now. So um, here Here we go. This is the one that we get the ultimate purpose of by push of the button So I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, one more. So just to make sure that it's actually working I or this is quite long uh, Just get a short one easy for you to actually see all right, I think um, this quote is quite interesting. So uh, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. So I'm going to post this um, status to my Facebook page with a click of this post status button. Click on that, success. Now let's refresh again. All right, so here it is. This is how we implement the uh, random post uh, quote API on our react app with a click of a button it's going to send to this uh, Facebook page and the code is quite simple as you can see here what we actually require is to have the access token and uh, the thing is that this is um, the uh, one that is not gonna expire it's going to valid forever so uh, just keep it a secret uh, not everyone to see it otherwise uh, we're gonna get issue uh, somebody can actually use this to post uh, whatever status that they want and um, I think we can actually um, make it better so what I mean by that so basically uh, if we want to include the um, status or we want to include the author name we can do that as well maybe we can try to format that with uh, says like uh, double quote here and then dash uh, with a uh, behind the quote here we can just put like the author name because um this one here it also uh, provide us the author name as well so not only the content the quote itself but uh, content with this as well so we can um, do that as well but not in this video uh, we already uh, finished demonstrate how to post the status to Facebook page using the random quote API and in the next video I try to show you uh, how to actually post uh, Facebook uh, basically uh, upload image to this uh, page so rather than just having like text we want to post the uh, photo instead and see you guys in the next video.